Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Eeyore and this is Labyrinth of Toho 2. Let's continue. Run away! Great, there's that spot there. It's gonna bother me. All right, fine, I'll go get it. There. Much better. <laughs> Parsi's already out of stamina. Yay. Okay. Thank you for narrowing the options. Alright, fighting gem. There, I want to fight. Tome of Reincarnation. And there's still more stuff over there, but I can't get to it. Which means I'm guessing there's stairs in the previous floors or some junk. Alright. I have to wonder if it's literally going to be like this for every floor down.
There's a boss here. Level 128. Stamina for you. We just gotta gotta drive on here. So not much commentary. There's not much to say. I mean, there's no story here. It's literally just me going back down the floors, and it's uh, a lot more difficult. easy. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna run away from you as soon as I'm able. Thank you. And you're fast. Let's uh, hope, it's, hope you're fast enough. Thousand money. I'm at three hundred thousand right now. That's enough to buy a few stat ups. Just a few, though. Yeah, no. That was bad. Um, I did know about there being an error, um, and that happened to be the error. Uh, if you try to activate this stone, it's going to give you this weird heap error thing, which will give you an option to either try to debug it, which you can't, um, either completely abort the game, or you can ignore it. Uh, supposedly, if you hold, if you just hold down the I key, which is the hotkey for ignore, you'll eventually get the computer to find memory that isn't corrupted and will continue onwards. Uh, while I was trying to find out something to put on my I key to keep it going, um, I accidentally hit something and it caused it to abort, so I had to start all the way over. Um, I hadn't saved since like the, la the beginning of the last video, so I literally had to start from scratch on floor 9. 
and go all the way through it again. So yeah, that's what I've done. I went ahead and made sure I killed every monster at least once, that way I have them on my uh, beast cherry. But other than that, I just got back to here and it took a while. So yeah, a little annoying. Um, taking a look at the footage of the video, it doesn't seem to corrupt anything, and I got to read the text this time of what this says. It says this doesn't open until you hit a switch in like the floor below or something like that. So we'll deal with that hurdle uh, with that error in the future later. Supposedly if you hold down the I key, you'll eventually just power through it. So that's what I'm going to hope for in the future. Um, but for right now, let's just keep on going. <sighs> well, at least it wasn't as bad as the freaking mess up I did with uh, the previous game where I literally lost like 20 videos and had to redo them all. I'm running out of people again, like usual. Yeah, we'll just finish up this part and then get to floor 8 and just keep trucking on, I guess. Maybe I'll take a break and fight a boss <laughs> after this floor. I mean, there is the enhanced bosses to fight. That's something at least. Good. Okay, cool. Let's keep on going. I'm also very glad I didn't like suffer any like save corruption or anything like that. I usually have two. I usually save in two slots. You probably have seen me do it uh, occasionally. Um, that's usually a non-issue in most cases. Alright, we're almost there guys, almost done with this floor. I mean at least there's no like gimmicks, it's just really big floors that you're dealing with. It's just the enemies are just a lot tougher. I mean they're literally the same enemies, just they have higher stats and levels. The Katana of Anubis. That sounds like a fun weapon. Its base power is low, but it's boast a miraculous plus four number of attacks. It's lean it leans more to mages than warriors, but with anti-teleport, anti-something, and chaos affinity, it messes with mages' situation and controlling skills. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh I don't have really I don't have my full party, so once I get my full party I'll see about giving that to somebody. I think some I think someone's still using a glaive of pain and that item would be a pretty good replacement. I'm not sure if I'll hit that heap corruption again once I do hit the switch. Um, if I do, I'll, tr I'll have to figure out a way to get through it. Uh, supposedly it's one of the final bosses you'll have to deal with in the future. And there 
there you go. That's this floor taken care of. Don't think I have any level ups, but I'll check. Eh, I got a few. Training manual. I'm gonna keep feeding him to Biakran, because why not? Fighting. Um, Barcy's done. Gosa's done. Who do I want to upgrade next? Let's uh, attack. Uh, I guess Biakran. Special items. Here you go, Biakran. Here you go, Hina. Hina's now maxed out on stamina. And we'll deal with some of this stuff. While I'm here, at least. Alright, let's, uh, achievements are done. So I'm checking. I'm just checking to see if there's any, uh... Okay, not there. Nuts. Eh, it doesn't look like there's anything particular it drops, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, whatever. Let's uh, save the game. I'll even do it in both slots. Okay. Tell you what, we'll just keep uh, pressing on. Since we're at the point where I'm just running away from everything, I'm just gonna just drive on. All right, let's do this. Do this little part first. All right, so that's my hub there. Regenerating jerks. Great. I do kind of want to kill one of them just to see if they have anything special, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Alright. Die. Well, that kind of worked. Care to uh, take a shot? Alright. Really resistant to all magic. But vulnerable to physical. going. Let's see if I can get to that item there. Probably not. Oh. Angelic armor. An armor that allows you to fly for a few seconds after a jump. It increases your movement rate by a lot, but the spawn frequency and hit something generation of enemies is so fast accidents tend to strip it off quickly. Uh, plus 88 defense, plus 44% minded speed, and then some affinities. Not too shabby. Oh yeah, um, Parsi, what are you using? Okay, would you like a katana of Anubis? I bet you do. Congratulations, you got yourself not katana of the of Anubis. Of course her defense drops, but that's fine. I like speed.
Aww. There we go. Oh. Still a little annoying, but at least we're able to fight these guys. Okay, money. Die. That kind of worked. Not really. Training manual, okay. Of course, I'll feed it to Biakaran. Oh, I mean, she's still got a lot of catching up to go as far as stat skills go. Okay. Now, the question is, is does any of this loop? I don't know, so I'm gonna go ahead and head back this way and deal with it. Whoa, hello, where is that? Beam barrel. Well, I killed it. Uh, the bad news is, is I still have to deal with a um, emerald nut. Let's deal with that real quick. I'm really just killing it just so I can get the. Um, beam thingy.
Okay, that's one hit. Yay. That's why I run away from them. They take too long to kill. Alright. Did they connect? They do. Wonderful. Deal with the down area over here. Oh, you guys again. Luckily, they're very easy to kill. One shot at Momiji. Alright, looks like I'm running out of time. Since I gotta attack this on the part of the video that led to the crash. Alright, so we need to go back and deal with that. Just look at this, this is what we have to deal with. I guess the real question is, is how far down are we going? Are we going all the way down to first floor? Are we... I, I really don't know the answer. That's a convenient place to stop. Alright, so I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this was Labyrinth for Toho 2. When we come back, we'll deal with more craziness. So, yeah. See you guys later.